Tuesday. Hello everyone welcome to Great Ninja. We will show you lots of amazing facts and theories about Naruto and also Boruto. But before enjoying the video, please subscribe into this channel, share this content and also turning on the notification bells. Naruto Uzumaki is a savior of the shinobi world who lost his right arm, due to his last battle with his eternal rival, Sasuke Uchiha. To replace the missing right arm, a prosthetic arm created from using Hashirama's cell. Looking back at the past, most people who have Hashirama's cells on their bodies will experience improvements in various aspects, such as a boost in stamina, regeneration without the need to use hand seals, lifespan expansion, to strength augmentation. Besides, most people think that Naruto's prosthetic arm was intentionally bandaged because he didn't want to look like evil white Zetsu. But not a few also think that behind the bandage there is a hidden great power, which even Naruto himself has not realized until now. Looking at other characters, there are some people whose parts of their bodies are intentionally bandaged to cover their true power, one of which is Donzo who has a lot of Uchiha eyes on his body. With that fact, there is a possibility that there is a hidden power behind Naruto's prosthetic arm, which will awaken under certain circumstances and conditions. Meanwhile, it had been quite a while since Kurama's death had passed due to his sacrifice in using Baryon mode. Even so, Naruto still seemed unable to forget his best friend who had accompanied Naruto since he was born. Basically, Kurama's death has left a big hole in Naruto's heart, because Naruto has not only lost half of his soul, but has also lost more than half of his source of strength. By not having his full strength anymore, Naruto thought about how he could save the shinobi world if one day a big threat like the Otsutsuki attack came again. Naruto stared at his bandaged arm, wondering what he could do to protect the peace he had worked so hard to build and maintain. While thinking about that, Naruto felt his right hand was throbbing, making him feel a little confused because this had never happened before. However, Naruto didn't feel strange at all when his right arm was throbbing. For no apparent reason, he felt a warm feeling that he hadn't felt in a long time. Naruto had thought that this might be a resonance between himself and Kurama, but after thinking that it was impossible considering Kurama had died, Naruto decided to ignore the warm feeling and chose to go back to sleep. As Hokage, Naruto feels very responsible for the safety and comfort of his villagers, and because of that Naruto can't keep the worries he feels from his mind, even until he falls asleep. On a quiet night, Naruto seemed to feel the wind blowing in his sleep. But when Naruto opened his eyes, he was already in a place he didn't know at all. When Naruto was still processing about what really happened, suddenly a familiar voice from behind Naruto called his name. At that moment Naruto turned around, feeling very moved when he saw his old friend now in front of him, Kurama. The two had not seen each other for a long time, which made the meeting between Naruto and Kurama very emotional, where Naruto immediately hugged Kurama at that moment. At the same time Naruto realized that what was happening right now was just a dream, but he didn't care about it at all. Naruto thought that at least he could still meet Kurama even if only in a dream. Still crying and hugging Kurama in the dream world, Naruto felt more and more wanting to find a way to be reunited with Kurama. Kurama in the dream world said that sooner or later they will be reunited. Hearing these words made Naruto open his eyes, realizing that he was currently at home and there was no Kurama in his arms, there was only Hinata fast asleep beside him. Naruto tried to ignore the dream by trying to go back to sleep even though he couldn't get Kurama out of his mind. But when Naruto tried to close his eyes again, suddenly his right arm throbbed again and felt very hot. The heat felt by Naruto forced him to open the bandage covering his right arm. It was at that moment that Naruto was really surprised because his bandaged right arm actually showed a transformation, where his right arm turned red resembling Kurama's imperfect arm. Naruto shouted in this situation, which made Hinata who was sleeping next to him woke up, asking what happened to her husband. As Naruto tried to explain what had happened, his right arm had now returned to normal, leaving Naruto confused as to what had happened. 
Hinata knew that Naruto had trouble sleeping due to Kurama's death, but this was the first time Hinata had witnessed Naruto looking panicked like this. In this situation Hinata hugged Naruto, telling Naruto that he would always be beside Naruto. Only then did Naruto calm down and slowly fell back asleep in Hinata's arms. After Naruto woke up, he thought that this all had something to do with his prosthetic arm. Therefore, to confirm this, Naruto decided to meet with Tsunade, the person who had created the prosthetic arm he was wearing until now, as well as the only remaining member of the Senju clan, by summoning her to the Hokage's room. When Tsunade arrived at the Hokage's room, she asked the purpose of Naruto's summons, which was when Naruto explained the problem he was currently experiencing. Tsunade herself does not understand what really happened to Naruto's prosthetic arm. But Tsunade speculated that the prosthetic arm might still have some of Kurama's chakra stored. So even though Kurama's chakra has completely disappeared from Naruto's body, at least there is still a little chakra stored in the prosthetic arm, as Naruto's body and the prosthetic arm are two separate objects. Tsunade can see that Naruto actually still has the desire to meet Kurama. Therefore, Tsunade advised Naruto to go meditate somewhere, to be able to feel for himself the presence of Kurama's chakra in the prosthetic arm. It is possible that Naruto can meet again with Kurama, even though the chance is small. Hearing Tsunade's suggestion, Naruto stared at his right arm for a moment, and without thinking decided to go to a place where he used to meditate, Mount Myoboku. Arriving there, Naruto's presence was greeted by the toads, especially Gamakichi who was a personal summon of Naruto, because it had been quite a while since Naruto had set foot there. Not much has changed from that place even though it's been decades Naruto has never been to Mount Nyoboku again, even the Great Toad Sage is still healthy and Fukusaku Shima is still active as usual. Without further ado Naruto asked the frogs for permission to let him meditate there, which was then allowed by Fukusaku as the person who used to teach Sage Mode there, without further asking why Naruto wanted to meditate on Mount Nyoboku. With the escort of Gamakichi, Naruto was ushered to the place where he first learned Sage Mode. With no clothes on, Naruto began to meditate like he learned Sage Mode in the past. Naruto tried to align himself with nature, to be able to feel the flow of chakra in his prosthetic arm. Different from how he felt the chakra in his body, feeling the chakra flow in his prosthetic arm was quite difficult for Naruto to do because the object was separated from his body, moreover the prosthetic arm was created from Hashirama's cell which is said by most people to have great power and many secrets that hasn't yet been revealed. However, Naruto's advantage is that he has a lot of chakra, which allows him to use shadow clones so the process can be quicker. However, there was an oddity after Naruto meditated for some time, where there was a thick fog that slowly covered him. At first Naruto felt normal, considering that he was currently above the height of Mount Nyoboku. But everything felt very strange after Naruto couldn't feel the presence of anyone around him, including his own shadow clone. Here Naruto looked left and right to look around the area, but couldn't find anything because of the thick fog blocking his view. Naruto also tried to shout for Gamakichi and the others to locate them, but no one responded. It was in the midst of his confusion that the fog slowly faded, showing a place that Naruto had never known before, as if Naruto was currently in another dimension. Just like in the dream world Naruto experienced the previous day, Kurama's voice from behind Naruto called his name, saying that he had kept his promise to meet Naruto again in the near future. But Naruto was really surprised after he turned around and saw the figure of Kurama who looked so terrible and far from what he imagined. Most of Kurama's body was covered in red blood with little fur and skin covering his body. Not only that, Kurama's mouth was also bleeding, which showed a hideous smile on his face, which made Naruto's whole body shuddered. Naruto honestly didn't know what to do in this situation, because his meeting with Kurama had been his wish for a long time, even though the results he currently got were far from what he expected. Not knowing what to do, Naruto could only apologize to Kurama, because Kurama's death in the past occurred because of Naruto's weakness. If he was stronger, then Kurama wouldn't have died. Without responding to Naruto's apology, Kurama gathered the chakra in front of his mouth, 
formed a large tailed beast ball, and then fired it at Naruto. Luckily Naruto was still able to react quickly because his sage mode was active due to the chakra collection he did earlier, so the tailed beast ball could be avoided easily by Naruto. The attacks didn't just stop there, because Kurama kept shooting tailed beast balls at Naruto, which could be easily avoided by Naruto while asking why Kurama was attacking him. Kurama completely ignored Naruto, and this time he jumped very quickly to shorten his distance with Naruto, then used his sharp claws to attack him. At this rate Naruto had no other choice but to fight, or else he would die himself. By using Shadow Clone, Naruto uses a wind release to give himself a boost so he can glide very fast, and gives a surprise attack using his massive Rasengan. With this great technique, Kurama fell helplessly and could not do anything else. Naruto thought that maybe he had gone too far when using the massive Rasengan class technique, considering that Kurama in front of him was only a part of Kurama's chakra stored in his prosthetic arm. After Kurama was defeated, Kurama's consciousness seemed to be back, where the previously aggressive Kurama began to speak again. This time it was Kurama's turn to apologize to Naruto, because he had just attacked Naruto and also couldn't accompany Naruto to the end. To end his suffering, Kurama asked Naruto to immediately seal him, because right now Kurama's whole body was in a lot of pain, moreover there was only a little skin and fur covering his body. Naruto initially certainly didn't want to do that even though it was Kurama's wish. But seeing Kurama's condition like this, Naruto, who did not want his friend to be further tormented by such a terrible condition, finally decided to seal Kurama with his Uzumaki secret technique. In this desperate situation, Naruto looked at Kurama who looked in pain and started to cry. By placing the prosthetic arm into his stomach, Naruto sealed Kurama by transferring the chakra stored in the prosthetic arm to his stomach. At the same time, Naruto seemed to hear Kurama say that he was happy to see Naruto back, even though it ended up like this. With tears flowing, the sealing process was successfully carried out by Naruto. Naruto realized that by sealing Kurama like this, there was no possibility for Kurama to return to Shinobi World again. As well known, when a tailed beast dies, they will return after an unknown amount of time. However, if the tailed beasts were sealed, their souls would not be able to return. But when Naruto was crying thinking about the possibility of him not being able to meet Kurama again, suddenly a voice sounded in his head telling Naruto not to cry, and it was no doubt Kurama's voice. Apparently the sealing and transfer of chakra gave Kurama an opportunity to talk to Naruto even for a moment. And before Kurama's soul completely disappeared, he told Naruto that he would give his last strength to Naruto as a final farewell gift from him. For the third time Naruto's right arm throbbed, and the bandage that covered it automatically came off, revealing a red hand resembling Kurama's arm. Even though Kurama's chakra has been transferred from the prosthetic arm to Naruto's body and sealed in it, the function of the prosthetic arm is still the same, only with a modification that allows Naruto to turn his arm into Kurama's arm whenever he wants. Naruto himself actually not sure how strong his arm because he had never tried its strength, but it was certain that Naruto could feel himself getting stronger and the aura he felt was getting more and more pressing. In addition, Naruto was very grateful for his arm, because he was able to feel closer to Kurama. Therefore, his desire to be closer to Kurama made Naruto think of cutting off one more arm along with two legs, to be replaced by the same prosthetic arm. Naruto believes that with the current technology, the prosthetic arm can be replicated, even to the prosthetic leg which only has a match with him. That's the end of Great Ninja Channel video today. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe into this channel. Leave some comments, like and share this video so we can have more people to see this. Thank you and Great Ninja Channel is signing out for today.